So. It's in your hands. Oh, uh, I, I got it already. Okay, so uh, good morning. Hey, I heard that um, school. I heard that school will start in the fall, but kind of start, right? Yes, they're, I mean, they're talking about the two days, the two on, two off with the Wednesday, but today is the school board meeting, so we'll find out today. And we normally had classes, was it Monday, Wednesday? Monday, or Wednesday. Tuesday? So how would we do that? Um, on the Wednesday part of it? That's a good question. I, I don't even know how we're even going to reduce um, after school as of right now, so. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, we can always do Zoom. Yay! So, yeah. Oh, I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing one of my work shirts, so don't look. Okay. Um, probably dirty. It's probably got stains on it and stuff. <laughs> um, so what I thought we would do today is a 3D drawing. Now, um, to learn 3D drawing, you have to start obviously out with the basics, and that's kind of what we're going to do today. Though from this, you can do a ton of things, um, but this is kind of kind of give you your basics. Now, let's see if I can. Uh, where no, we're going to share. Is it not letting me share? No, there. Oh, uh, host wise, I, I was gonna share. Um, I'm sorry, okay. let me make you host. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. There. Okay. Let's do this, do this. There, 3D drawing. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, just learn how to do a cone to start with. So as you can see, um, when you look at a cone um, um, broken down, it's not a triangle. A lot of times people, like to make the bottom um, a, a straight line. Um, oh, sorry. I'm admitting Madeline. Miss um, White, uh, Madeline was trying to get in. Did she get in? Yes, yeah, she got in. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's in. Okay. See, my screen went to white again. Is your screen white, or do, can you still? See, I can see. Yeah, see, I don't understand why that does that. Why it, it goes blank on me. Okay, see, so the, bring it. So I, I would try to bring it back to you, unshare it, and then start over again if you can. So stop sharing, bring it, do that, do mm -hmm. that. There, okay. So bear with us kids. Okay, so a lot of times when um, people are trying to do three-dimensional and try to do pictures, they will draw the two lines um, for the triangle and then they make the bottom line straight and then they wonder why it looks flat on the paper. Well, to make something three-dimensional, you actually have to curve the bottom and not make it a straight flat bottom. So easiest way to do this is to do the two sides, they'll connect at the top and then spread out towards the bottom, however you want to do that. And then you can either draw um, an egg shape, or if you're good enough, you can just draw the line curved at the bottom straight uh, without having to, to draw the, um, the line, the dotted line in the back. You want to straighten up the lines after you drew them, you can. 
I a lot of times have to go back and and straighten up the line on the bottom that as I first draw it, it's never quite what I want it to be. So I have to go back and change it up a little bit. Um, you may have to make it deeper as well, the curve. So um, we've all got the, the initial uh, cone. Thumbs up, do we all have the, the, the initial cone thing? Okay. So from there, I mean, it's obviously pretty easy. So from there, we need to decide where we want the light source to come from. So as you're sitting there, you have to make the decision, do you want it to come from the left, from the right? Um, I would avoid having it come from the top, not that you can't do it, but the shading is really difficult to do something lit from the top showing on down. So I would pick a right or left light source. And then the best way to do it is kind of have the light source coming from down, um, shining down on something from the side. Hopefully this isn't confusing. So that way it's easier to shade. So the, the next screen, you see my screen went blank again. So let's hold on a second. Oh, um, so why you have me, in a sense, that's what we need. That's what we, we got. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, why is it? So we're going to do the cone then. We, on this one, um, here, hold on. On this one, um, the light source is coming from, um, well, right or left, depending on how you're looking at it. But it's shining down. Um, so you notice that it's light on one side and slightly dark on the other side. And then it has the shadow on the bottom. If you notice the shadow on the bottom, it starts darkest towards the cone and, and then gets lighter as it fades away. And that's because the light is, it's blocking it the most on the bottom and then fades away. So that's what we're gonna do next is shade the cone. So as I said, you can pick right or left, however you wanna do it. And then we are just gonna shade it in. Um, so. Joe, is this activity available for the students? If, if I can get the PDF for this, the I students. PDF, yeah, I can send it okay. to you. I think I can send it to you now if you want. No, yeah, just when you're done after I do the recording. Okay. Yeah, it keeps, keeps kicking me out. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know either, so. Uh, um, Maybe it's because our students requesting to come in. Uh, yes, but that, but that's not, um, that happened once, but right now it just went blank. I don't know, maybe it's when you talk it goes blank. I don't know. Okay, so now with the cone, if you've noticed, the cone's kind of divided in half from light to dark, but that line in the middle um, is a very faint line. Um, but like anything that is flat, the light is not going to um, go behind the object. So even though you're seeing a curved object, you have to kind of imagine, I hope this doesn't get complicated. You have to kind of imagine it flat, so the darkness will be about halfway, um, but it's a, it's a soft edge. So it's not a hard edge for that halfway mark. And then it goes dark um, for the back of it. But it's dark at the top of the cone, and then again, it gets slightly lighter on the bottom, even though the shadow is darker on the bottom, it gets slightly lighter as it goes out. So just kind of copy that, just in case I lose the screen again. If you're using a pencil, you can use your finger sometimes to blend that line. 
so it's not as harsh. If you're using a mechanical pencil, you're gonna find it very hard to blend. Mechanical pencils don't always work well for that. A number two that you would use in school is probably fine, or if you have um, thicker leaded pencils, sometimes that's easier to, um, to blend and soften up the line. Okay. Now the shadow, you have to think about the shadow is going to be the shadow of the object itself. So in this particular case, since it is at a point at the top, the shadow is going to be more cone shape. A rounded object would have a, a rounded shadow. Um, And depending on how bright the light source is, now this gets technical kind of stuff. Depending on how bright the light source is, um, we'll decide how long the shadow is. Also from what direction the sh it's coming, will also kind of dictate the length of the shadow. But I don't think that really matters. You can just draw a shadow. Um, keep it within your paper. Remember though, as I said, the shadow, um, is uh, uh, going to be about halfway on the cone. So the, um, see it says the request URL was not found on this server, is what keeps popping up. Well, I got you the screen. In a sense, that's what we're doing now. So, um, so as I said, uh, trying to- It shows it. up on our end. I mean, like we can see it. I know, but for some reason it just, it goes blank for me. So I don't understand why that does me. But you can see me now, right? Yes. Okay, so, well, and I'll go back to the other screen, but we'll just talk about this. So um, where, I'm trying to get this centered. So where, I said it about halfway, halfway down. Um, well, as I said, light source, if we're looking at it, light source is coming from here, the light's not gonna come around back here. So even though we're throwing, uh, drawing a three-dimensional object, it's kind of the same thing. That the light source is coming from here, uh, it's still going to be about halfway that it, uh, halfway that is dark. Um, so where do you start to shadow um, uh, along the bottom? Again, it's going to be about um, that halfway mark. We'll give you that shadow. But again, it also depends on where the light is coming from. Sorry, the, the light is coming from will dictate kind of where, which direction the shadow, you know, goes. Um, but we'll keep it simple in that sense. So at least that's kind of the start of it. We can see it's starting to look three-dimensional. So let's go back. I would try to whiteboard it, but I'm afraid the whiteboard wouldn't, um, you wouldn't get the subtlety of uh, the, the, shading with a whiteboard. So that's why we're trying to do it through um, PowerPoint or, or um, a keynote. Okay. So, how are we doing? Is this making sense? Is this getting too complicated? Somebody can kind of speak. Um, goat? Oh, somebody's face just popped up. <laughs> oh, somebody's face just keeps popping up. 
Okay. Well, we got shading on two sides there. Or maybe that's just the, the camera. Do you get shade coming from both sides, uh, Brooke? Is shading coming from um, both sides of the cone or just the one side? Both sides. Okay. Um, and that's doable because you can have, you know, four and five lights in a sense shining on an object, which will create a shadow, um, multiple shadows on an object. It doesn't all have to come from one direction. Um, I just think sometimes it's easier to do it where it comes from one direction. Um, what have we got, Hunter? Okay, yep. Pretty easy, isn't it? I sh well, it, yeah. it just takes a little practice. I shouldn't say it's pretty easy as somebody's probably learning it. Um, Iker, what do we got here? Okay, perfect. Timothy, you got your camera off. If you don't want to turn your camera on, can you just give me a thumbs up if you're if you're getting this? You're seeing other people's stuff. Is yours basically the same? It, it's okay. Okay. It takes a little practice, you know. Um, Li Wang, hopefully I pronounced your name right. Madeline, either one of you? Um, um, mine's okay. I don't, I don't know. I think I shaded it wrong, but. Okay, well, <coughs> it takes practice. Um, as I said, it's, um, it's an easy process, but it still takes, every, like everything in life, it just takes a little practice um, to get the shading down. Um, we can do a cube which is makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, what do we have here time-wise? We have a little time left. So let me, I'm sorry, I have to. Here we go. So now we got a cube, which is a bit more complicated. Uh, because instead of just kind of um, a, a rounded side, now we actually have hard edges. So um, makes it a bit more complicated. So the light is still coming from the same direction as it did on the uh, cone. Um, again, left or right, depending on you know how you're looking at it. Um, but remember back um, in drawing a cube how to draw a cube. You basically make a square and then make another, here in fact, let's, sorry, let's do this. Okay, so you make a square and then another square like that. And then it's just a matter of connecting the lines. And that makes a cube. You've probably all done that before, I'm assuming, right? You've never done that before? Okay, I see Hunter's head shaking, no. All right, well that's how we're gonna do this. This just makes it easier. We'll just do our cube that way. Um, you can, um, let's see, does that work well for this project? I think it does. Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Okay, so that's how we're gonna make our cube. So we're just gonna do a square. You can freehand it. And then another square, like that. And then we're gonna connect them. Now, if you want the squares to go a different direction, you can do, let me see if I can do this upside down. You can have it do it that way. So then you would connect it. So it goes, uh, uh, I'm sorry, how am I doing? So it goes this way to where the one on the top goes uh, that way. 
I'm trying to do this from behind the paper. So either way will work. Um, you can do rectangles as well um, with this process. It's just a simple, easy way of doing, um, you know, making an, an object 3D. So let's do that. Sorry, let me get a piece of paper. And you want to make the squares as close to the same size as possible. And the lines should match up. If they don't, you're going to have to kind of redraw them. So they should match up. But the inner lines, we are going to erase. So that's where we end up with our cube. Are we all to that stage? Do it again. One more time. Can I see it again? This one? Yeah. So let's see if I can whiteboard it. Maybe I can whiteboard this. All right. Whiteboard. Okay. So what we're going to do is oops, sorry <laughs> i have to stand up for this uh okay so we're going to make our shape and then we're going to try to make the shape as close to the possible to the first one we did and then you're just going to connect these lines like that and that makes the cube now, if you want to make a cube where you can kind of go through it, then I don't know if this will let me. No, it won't let me remove. Um, yeah, so you can erase things and then it makes it look like you can look through this box. Um, or. Um, Or you just erase all the inner stuff and now you actually have your cube. So now if we're going to have the light source come from this direction, obviously this is where the shadow is going to be. Now if the light source is coming um, more down here, the shadow is going to be longer. If the light source is coming more from up here, the shadow is going to be shorter. All right. I know it seems a little complicated and, and the explanation probably is a bit complicated, but um, once you start doing it, yeah, see, go, you've got, uh, it looks good. So from there, if our light source is coming from here, let's see if I can erase this stuff. If our light source is coming from here and it's shining on, this side of the box, not on this, but on the side that you can't see, then this is gonna be a light shade and this is gonna be a dark shade. And this is gonna be probably partially shaded. And then our shadow, same thing, where it's gonna be darker here and then it gets lighter as we go, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. And then it just gets darker and then turns to lighter as we go uh, out to here and such. Okay, we wanna try doing that. You can, if you want to darken up the edges a little bit, um, they show that in the drawing and that's fancy, but I don't think it's that necessary, um, but it's fancy. The reason why in the picture that I had uh, before, uh, the, um, the shadow was more of an oddball shape. That's because they had the cube turned. So it was shining on the corner of the cube, which then creates a unique um, design. We're actually just showing it on the flat side of the box. So it just makes it easier to draw. How do I get out of this?
So see with the um, see with the box itself because it's turned the way it is. The shadow is kind of a weird shape. That's because they're showing it on a corner of the box as opposed to a flat side of the box. We're just going to have it shown on the flat side of the box because it's easier to draw. All right, so tell me what what's happening. What are you thinking? My shadow is not good. <laughs> really? Tell me why. Because um, you guys can't see my shadow. Can you see my shadow? I can't. No. Let me get off the screen and then um, will that make you, how do we make so that each participant comes up? Can I just do? No. Spotlight video. I don't want to be the spotlight. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry. No, it's okay. I was just trying to look at your picture. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have okay. too much shadow. Well, and that can easily be blended out or just, you know, slightly erased. You have it where... Um, it's the opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> we didn't get in perspective, but you have it in perspective-wise where... Um, Normally with perspective, it goes, um, it goes down um, in the back and you have it raised up in the back. So it makes it a little bit more uh, complicated shadow wise. Um, but other than that, yeah, see you, uh, the light source would come from, oh, that corner thing, yeah. So yeah, then it's just a matter of shading it all in. Okay, so, I kinda got it. <laughs> you know, um, it's not, it's, it's not something that takes, you know, two seconds to do. It takes a little bit to shade it in. I'm going to go back to the, um, okay. to the screen here. It's just slow to do it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so, um, and obviously they had a lot of time to really put, you know, beautiful shading on all the corners and little this and that and whatever. Um, what time do we have here? Can we still have enough time for the last project? Um, yeah, yeah. About, yeah, okay. So um, everybody, tell me what you're doing. T uh, tell me how this is going. I don't hear anybody. Janaya? Madeline, anybody? Everybody went silent. Goat? Yeah, all of them are muted, so they have to unmute themselves. Right, that's why I'm asking them. Janaya says good in the chat box. Okay. And Iker, how, how, how are you? How are you doing this one? It's a little bit more complicated. Okay, yeah. And Brooke, is it, are, are, you, are you getting this one? Could have been better. Well, yeah, okay. Brooklyn, where's yours? I don't know if she can hear us. She's just staring at us. <laughs> wow. I can move on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as my mother would say, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's just a learning process, and it's a. It kind of gives you. The more you practice at it, the more perfect it becomes. You can use a ruler to make the edges really sharp, and such. Um, but it, it just lends, gives you the idea that at that point, then you can draw anything and make anything three dimensional if you understand the whole concept of light source and shadowing that's really what does it you can't draw a round object on a flat piece of paper um that's just impossible uh well um it, it for what we're doing it's it's impossible um it's strictly all done through trickery trickery of the eye um 
And that's what we're learning. It's just how to trick the eye. So let's do this last project. Um, let me do this last one. We are going to draw going downstairs. Damn, bro, it logged me in. You what? It logged me out. Yeah, see, I don't know what it's doing, uh, Miss White, why it's doing, anyway, so, anyway. Crazy gonna, today. Yeah, it's goofy today. So we're gonna draw going downstairs. As you can see, it kind of gives you that three-dimensional uh, appearance as if you're going down steps on a flat piece of paper. So, uh, it's easy to do. We are going to start with, um, you can do the shape however you want. You can make it square on your paper. You can make it slightly off um, uh, center on the paper, kind of like what they did. It's kind of however you want. But you can the top and the bottom the same length and the sides the same length because that's what it would be on a, on a staircase. Can you scroll it up? Yeah, sorry, it keeps doing that. Come on. <laughs> See, now it goes, then it just goes white on me. Sorry. Are you on your phone or your computer? I'm on an iPad. Okay. You still, yeah. Everybody get a quick, a quick look before it may go away. Okay, so do you see what, what we've got here? Can you see that now? Yes. Oh. And then it just moves us back to the beginning. I don't understand. I can try to do it on the laptop the next time. Um, well, anyway, yeah, try it on the whiteboard. If, if you can draw for them on the whiteboard, that may help. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe that'll be easier. Let's try that. Sometimes well, like with the internet and having background yeah. programs. Now this will be the challenge is to have me do this <laughs> standing up. We want to see you do it, Mr. Joe. You can do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've, we've all got that, right? So then we're gonna draw in the stairs. How do you do those first? Oh. Um, oh, I probably, I'm gonna have to make mine a little longer. Okay, so it's gonna be, um, uh, a thin space and then a bigger space and then a thin space again and a bigger space. You can make however many stairs you want. I did four here. Um, so, are we all to the stage? I am. Okay. <laughs> Ms. White, I'm going to use you as the guide then. Uh, uh -oh. Okay. So this is going to be the complicated <laughs> part. This is where you get the three-dimensional part. So we're going to make the stairs. So we're going to come down and then this, and then come down and then this, and then come down and then this, and then come down and then this. Oh, okay. That would come. Now the top is a little bit more angled than the other um, angles. And that's just because it's the first drop off into the basement in a sense. Uh -oh.
Do I want me to sing for you guys this morning? <laughs> Igor, I saw that. Like, no, Miss Wright, no. Are we all kind of there? I think I messed up my stuff. I think I need another set of steps. <laughs> Uh oh, your timeline. Okay, we got about five, six minutes. That's okay. We're almost there. Surprisingly, it's going to be easier than you think. Uh oh, I think I think I've created some illusions. <laughs> I don't know what to what, but it's an illusion. <laughs> it's okay. an illusion, nonetheless. Okay, do we have it? I mean, Iker, is that, you You got it? You so let me see yours. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. All right. So not as good. The next stage is we're filling this part in. Um, my steps don't look like that. <laughs> well, it may take a little. See, it's, it's, you have to kind of think in three dimension at times. So, but once you kind of do it, you go, oh, I get it. I get it. it just, yeah, I get it. It's just, it didn't come out the same way. I'm not one that can, a lot of times that can just in my head go, oh yeah, I get it. I can draw three dimension. I have to kind of look at it and kind of, um, Maybe that's a guy thing. Uh, look at it and kind of, <laughs> it out, you know, and then I can kind of do it. Or like all artists, if I make a mistake, I just say that was my intention all along. That way, you never <laughs> have to say you make a mistake. Oh, Brooke, what did you make? You made winding stair steps. Wow. Oh, she got fancy. I see, boy. You're just trying to show off. Well, that's good, though. <laughs> Look at Mine is going nowhere. I don't even know where I'm going. Well, okay. Well, it's that. Uh, it, again, I got to hold it like this for 3D. <laughs> yeah, it just takes a little bit. Um, Is, is illusion for it to get smaller towards the bottom? Yes. So in a sense, it's looking like you're stepping onto this, and this is the first step right here, and this is the step, and this is the step, and this is the step, um, to where the basement is down here, kind of a thing. So then the, really the way to fill it off is, and, and I don't think I can do this on a whiteboard because you can't really do shading, but then you want to shade the, the steps. So this is where you would normally put your feet when you're walking down a step. And this is the back of the steps, the backboard of the steps. So this is, the light is in a sense coming from here. So these are all going to be lightly shaded, but we don't want them the same dark as, as this uh, black. So we just want it lighting lightly shaded, but I can't do that with um, with the whiteboard. It doesn't have uh, gradations in a sense. And then the other thing you can do is um, because it is going downstairs in a sense that the the light would then be kind of lighter or slightly darker on this part of the steps because if I know this gets really complicated. If this part of the steps is going to be flat, uh, it's a wall in a sense, um, it's going to cast a shadow. So more and more of that, um, as I said, it's just hard to do on a whiteboard. Let's see if I can pull up the last page again, if it'll let me. That's good, Eker. Yes, perfect. Why well, is everybody else's perfect except for mine? 
Okay, see what I said with the shading on the steps there? Oh, you did it on one side. I did it on both sides. That's right, that's right. Oh, now you can make them going upstairs, going downstairs. You can make a hole in the ground. Doing a round shape hole in the ground is a bit more complicated shading wise, but it's the same principles. Um, but that's yeah. going through a doorway, same principles. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys ready for your next class? You want to thank Mr. Joe for this for the day? You guys learned what today? Give me three things you learned. Shading. Shading. Good one. How to like um, um, make 3D, 3D shape there. Okay. Somebody else give me another one. What did they name them all? Okay, awesome. Awesome, I'm gonna give you guys about five minutes, take a break, because I gotta record this, I gotta finish recording this. Log on about, I would say, 10.55. No, and then grid, yeah. trans grid transfers on Wednesday. So look at your emails, because we wanna all work from the same pictures. So Wednesday um, is pickup day as well, so, um, I will email it to your um, to your emails. Hopefully, your parents can print them off for you. If not, we'll try to figure out something. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Joe. Everybody, log off. You got about seven minutes of a break. See you in a Thanks, minute. Thanks, everybody.